Seriously, you guys, this is mom life when I have to hide in my kid's bedroom at 7.30 in the morning to film a Dollar Tree haul because he's sleeping in my bed. Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of a Mom, back with another Dollar Tree haul. You guys, it's kind of weird. So I started doing my Dollar Tree hauls, like just ironically one time, I posted one on a Thursday, and then I try and share one every two weeks. So now I've been sharing one every other Thursday, and I feel like I'm stomping on Nicole's Dollar Tree Thursday, but I don't know about you guys, but she like created a jingle in my head because it could be a Monday and I walk into the store going Dollar Tree Thursday every time. So it doesn't matter what day of the week it is. So it's always going to be Dollar Tree Thursday up in here just because that's how I roll. So it is Thursday. It is Dollar Tree Day and I am coming to you first with two exciting things. So number one. On Sunday, you guys, it is Appreciation Day, and they should appreciate us. Why? Because YouTube is filled with people who are dedicated to the Dollar Tree. So they are very lucky they have this little forum because we have totally upped their volume, which has allowed them to up their game. So let me show you guys what I have for you, and that is Blam! On Appreciation Day, you get 10% off your purchase of $10 or more, which is every 10 items get you something for free. So I'd have a whole lot of free stuff up in here. And I think it's really awesome. They will not give you 10% off your purchase unless you show up with one of these pieces of paper. They're all stacked at the registers at all the stores I went to. I went to three different Dollar Trees. They're stacked there. And if you ask them, they will give you one and you have to have it to make a purchase. So, but any purchase, even if you don't have one, you just go in and ask, they will give you one. But you have to have this to make a purchase and they're stacked inside of your store. So go and run and get one. This is also great, you guys, for stocking up on school supplies because if you have a bunch of kids or even one kid, every 10th item is free and free is for me. So that was the first thing on the agenda for today. And the second thing is that this video is a collab. What? I never do Dollar Tree collabs, right? But the person whose channel I'm sending you to is a good friend of mine here on YouTube. His name is Zach. Well, his channel name is Zachary Michael. Again, I'll always have all of his information at the end slate and down in the description box. But you guys, if you're looking for like another mommy channel with grocery hauls and couponing and shop with me's, this is definitely not the channel for you. It's not a conventional channel that I would normally send you guys to, but he is my end of the day, lighthearted, when I just need to feel good and laugh and forget about all the chaos and drama that goes outside in life. He is where I go. He is stinking hysterical he was subscribed to my channel and i met him through him commenting he's also subscribed to vanessa so he's been in a couple of her lives and we've got to interact with him on a very personal level and i just got to know him very well and he's just a hysterical hysterical amazing big-hearted person with an even bigger personality and sense of humor that to me is just so refreshing because if you turn on the news or you turn on Facebook everything is so filled with drama so he does do like some kind of video game things those are things are really not my thing but he does a lot of reaction videos just because he is so so funny. So he watches other YouTube videos and then does reactions on them. I just love watching him. So if you want a moment in your day where you're just having a rough moment and you need to laugh, Zach is the channel to go to. So again, I will have all of his information linked below. He actually reached out to me and said, I love you so much. I want my subscribers to see you also, but our channels are so different. I don't know how to integrate them. And then he came back to me and said, what about a Dollar Tree haul? You guys, he's never done a Dollar Tree haul and he's doing his very first one. He wanted to do his very first one just so that he could be able to have some kind of gateway to talk about me and our friendship on his channel, which I think is just it warms my heart. So enough about that. Go and check him out. But now let's get into a my massive haul. I would like to say I want to start out with my favorite finds, but 
You guys, I got so many new items in here. So many favorite finds. I don't even know where to start. So I'm just going to pull these big mamma jammas out right here. Have you guys seen candles this big from the Dollar Tree? Watts and their old Williamsburg. Can you say that again? Now, I will say this for this gigantic, ginormous, stinking candle. I don't think on cold sniff they're that strong at all actually um they don't have a lid so i do feel like the candles at the dollar tree that have the lids they stay a lot more full of scents because they're just the outer layer isn't really exposed but this is the salted caramel one and you guys i've had this every one that i bought i've had in the smaller version and because it's old williamsburg is why i'm trusting it because i just haven't had any really hiccups with the old Williamsburg. I've had pretty much success with almost every one. So I got, and these candles are, does it say how many ounces it is? Yeah, it's a seven ounce candle, you guys. Like, look how big that is. Like, that is a decent sized candle. So uh, I got the one in the salted caramel, and then I got the apple cinnamon, and then I got the mixed berry. So I got one in every one that they had, and I am praying for a good throw. Had to get nails, right? I mean, might as well start the Dollar Tree off strong with the things I usually don't leave out in my haul, which is candles and nails. Um, but you guys, they're really starting to come back out, which is amazing because they went like dead. These Sassy and Cheeks went dead so long. It was the same ones or none. But these, oh, you guys, look at the color on this one. Oh, I love it. With the little polka dots. So cute. And then this one, I think I just saw Madison Hall, which is like the white and black with the stripes. I just thought that was kind of classy. I actually have like an all black set and an all white set. And so I think that maybe with all of these, I should be able to make like a really nice set. And then the last one was this one, which I think is very Aztec-y and I'm not one for gold, but the black and the pink with the gold accents is just super classy. All right, let's do a little books and stationery because I think if I got the bulk of anything, I would probably say I got stationery wasted. Um, I, I love the stationery from the Dollar Tree in general, but just their books and everything. I found three more of these cookbooks. These were the next three that they had. They keep coming out with these like spiral bound. They did have one for, oh, Velveeta, which I almost bought, but I try not to buy Velveeta. You guys, comment down below and tell me what you think about Velveeta cheese because I really know that, like, for me, the one who, like, prides organic and all of that, like, Velveeta is probably, the, it, it, what kind of shelf life does it have? It's not refrigerated. So how, what kind of cheese is it really? But it's the only cheese that ever melts and gets creamy like that. And when you really want, like, a good, I, I can cook, and I've tried to make a good cheese sauce, a bechamel, nothing is the way good old Velveeta melts, but I could not bring myself to buy that book, because can't be making a whole bunch of recipes with, sh like, shelf-stable cheese. Not cool. So, I did get this one that just says the Dole Pineapple Recipes. I love pineapple, um, even if you're actually not using a Dole can of pineapple the any pineapple will probably do for these recipes so I thought that was really yummy for pineapples and then look at that holiday cooking and more holiday cookies and more and it's by Nestle Toll House so super cute that one and then Mexican night is the fav our favorite night in the house like as an Italian, I still prefer Mexican flavors over anything so I'm excited like just opening that up like just yum like I'm hungry right now so uh, I'm excited about that and then I did pick up some reading books oh my goodness you guys I like snapped this to her in our group chat and I was like girl even if your kids can't read for like another 10 years I'm totally getting this for you right now it's a book by Elizabeth Strout and do you see what it says it says of the Burgess boys Watts are you kidding me it is so cute um, it is like a haunted eerie kind of book and so I'm excited about it. Um, it was a Pulitzer Prize winning book. So I am sending this off to Nicole. And then this Vanessa Hall, she actually bought this in my store. And there was a bunch of them. So I went back and got another one. Um, but she said she watched a story 
on Netflix called the Witches of East End series and she really liked it and it's kind of like I think it's like a vampire-ish book and this one is called Summer on East End Triple Moon and my cousin Ashlyn is likes the same genre and style so for a dollar she loves to read I picked her up that and then it is Jake's birthday coming up next week and I thought this was really cute it's called Dead Boy and it says He's dead, he stinks, and all he wants is a friend. Well, my kid is a teenager, so he stinks. He's constantly in trouble, so he's pretty much dead. And he's always dying and looking for friends. So I feel like this book will suit my kid just well. I think he'll get a kick out of reading it, and so I'm going to give him that for his birthday. And then here's a little bit more like of some of the notebook stuff that I got. So I picked up this elephant one. I was actually FaceTiming with Amber when I was in one of my Dollar Trees. And she was like, oh my goodness, I want that notebook. So I was like, all right, it's in the car. It's yours. So this is for Amber. She picked this out. Um, I love all of the, like, you guys, just the pretty notebooks that they have. Like, when I was a kid, it was a black and white marble notebook. There was no, like, cute ones of these. But I picked this up for Leanne. I have, like, a whole nother bundle of cactus stuff coming to her when I see her um in just a month you guys less than a month now um a few stickers nothing too crazy on the stickers um I did find the one girl one which I really love because it says this is me down here so I'll totally be using that in my meal planner and then my dad, when we go home, we booked like a bunch of fishing trips. I went last year with him and we had a lot of fun and he was so surprised that we had so much fun that he booked on a Friday, we're going on a big blue fish boat out of Montauk catching blues. Like my dad catches like 30 pound fish. So I'm really excited about that because they don't come in until you catch something. So I'm guaranteed to get a fish. So I'm really excited. And then he booked some other kind of charter boat two days later. So it's an entire fishing weekend. So when I saw these, I had to go bonkers for them. So I thought these would be cute to add to my planner for when we go fishing. And then this is just another one of the cute little stickers that I thought I love the sunglasses and the feather. So I thought this would be cute for my planner. Um, all right. And then nothing exciting about this. I picked up envelopes. I always need those. Okay. You guys, these folders are, they are exquisite. And again, where were they when I was going to school? <clears throat> the only thing I do not like about these folders is they don't have the holes. So if you wanted to put them in a binder, you could not, but they're like, just the regular plasticky material on the back of this folder, but this side is like textured because it's glitter. Oh my goodness. So this one says, be sweet and wear a crown, just a typical pineapple, but I love the pink and the glitter. And then this one is their stand tall with the flamingo. Oh my goodness, it's just so cute. And then of course this one is for Nicole. And it says stay wild with the feathers all over it. And then this one is for my cousin Ashlyn. And it says dream big little mermaid. And oh, do you just see the iridescent in that? And then look on the back. You can see what it looks like when it's not sparkled. All the little scales. Oh my goodness. Like I screamed when I saw those. I was like oh. Like super exciting. Like over folders you guys couple more little stationary items. Um, I did pick up this little notebook for myself. I never really buy myself notebooks because I get, I buy so many like as gifts and if I need one, I just grab one or I get them from my ladies who see things like unicorn stuff and grab them for me. But this, I just couldn't leave this, leave in the store because it's got like this part that has the clouds and the stars and it just says magical and then over here is the rainbow so it just looks pretty together so I got that one for me and then I got this one for Leanne it matches like the little flip up notebook that I've already gotten her and um, that marble notebook so I got her that 
And then I got this one for Ashlyn. It says, I believe in magic. And it's just got the little mermaid. And it's a little flip-up notebook. So that will go with her folder. And then, uh, I don't know why. I just thought these were really pastel and cute. They caught my eye. I needed some pens. And these are smooth. Nickel silver ballpoint. And there's 10 in there. And it says, no skip. And they look pretty. So I'll grab those for moi. Have you guys seen that they've added Hallmark to your Dollar Trees now? They have pulled out all the American greetings and everything is Hallmark now, which is... Hallmark is a very expensive brand. We have a Hallmark store, store right around the corner from my mom, and we used to go shopping in there all the time. Their stuff is pretty pricey, you guys. So to see Hallmark in the DT is, like, super amazing. And my father-in-law always says, bless your little heart to me. Like, it's just our thing. So when the I saw these, they jumped out at me, and it says, bless your heart for being so nice. And I just love the foil font, and it is a Hallmark Expressions thank you card. And there's six in here for a dollar. So uh, to have tons of friend mail thank you cards that I want to send out. All right, guys. So last in the stationery, and this isn't really stationery. I just had all of my stationery in it, and it kind of made makes sense to go there. But this is a book bin. I was looking for these last year, and by the time I saw them hauled and decided I wanted them, I could not find them anymore because, like, the back-to-school stuff was gone. But these are just, I bought two of them, and I bought black for my room, um, and I actually think I may spray paint them white so they match a little bit better, but the kids come into my room at night, and they want to read. They leave a lot of books in my room, and they have a tiny little play area in my room where they play when they're in there with me, and their stuff is always all over the place. I'm always just looking for organizational tools. So I picked up these two book bins. They just look like that for the books to slide into, so just help my room be a little bit more organized. All right, some more like goodies and exciting new finds. Lots of new stuff, you guys. Uh, except this, it's nothing basic. I get these all the time. I actually just bought one and then the dog chewed it. So I had to buy another one. Uh, all right, so my girlfriend Madison Pippins here on YouTube, she just hauled like these kinds of coasters and Vanessa was going bonkers for them. So I bought one of each one that I found and the store that I had was loaded with them. So I'm, I'll go back and get her more if these are the ones she wants. But these are the only three patterns I found. So this one says, do what you love and love what you do. That is so super cute. I actually think I'll give that, maybe that one to Ashlyn because she just moved in to her house and I thought that would be cute. And then these are the ones that I think that Vanessa liked. So this one says, blessed. And then that one says grateful. So those are super cute. Uh, if these are the ones she wants, I will go back and get her more. And then these are magnetic and they hang. And they're just little like picture frame holders. I've seen a whole bunch of these hauled. And they had a whole bunch of different styles. But my mom always tells the kids that she loves them to the moon and back. So I thought this would be cute for her locker at work. So I'm going to bring this home with me. And we'll take a picture this summer and put the kids picture in there. And then, you guys, because all the back-to-school stuff is out, they have, like, crazy magnetic locker kind of things. But, obviously, these don't have to be for a locker. And they're just so wicked cute. I picked up one of each kind that I saw. And I'm not sure who I'm going to send or use them, give them to yet. But this is the pineapple. I'll probably send this to Matt. It says it is a magnetic pouch. So, here. Here. Let's take this one out just to look because I'm curious to see how, like, this actually is. Okay, you guys, that is a wicked, wicked cute and so cute for a locker. All right, so here's a little paper to show you that it's a pouch. And then it says, believe, shine, and dream on this one. And then you can put your pens standing up in there in your locker. Shut up, Dollar Tree. Like, what? Is this green briar? Is this green briar? It is. Oh my goodness, Dollar Tree. Like, what are you doing to me? That is insane. That is so super cute. So, I got the feather green one for Nicole, obviously. I thought she could use that in her classroom. I guess I'll give the pineapple one to Matt. And I think I may keep that blue one for myself because it's cute. 
I, my store had a bunch of these canvases and there's a bunch of things I want to do with them but I also want to show Vanessa because I think there are ones that she was looking for so these are the six by eight canvases and they look like this on the back and they're just plain white and I have three kids so I picked up three of them I thought my mother-in-law's birthday is in September maybe I can do something cute with the kids and do like a you know each have them each do something for I love you or something with their hands or their own painting or whatever so I thought that would be cute to send to her and then my mom is trying to fill up some of her wall space so I got these ones which I think these are the ones Vanessa was looking for they're more like completely flat they're not the shadow box kind but this is canvas print and I got three of them in the 8x10 um, and I'm gonna do something fun for my mom with my kids with these as well I did get to find some of these shadow boxes I found two of the adventure awaits ones and one of the one that says live more and worry less uh, they did have the one that said good vibes only which I really wanted that there's four, four all together my store only had three but those other two which is a very good hint uh, Vanessa lemonade mom told me to make sure to check the backs to see if your tabs are still in there and it was smart that she said that because both good vibes only ones were pulled and the lights didn't work so I would have bought one where the lights didn't work so it was smart that she told me that uh, again my cousin Ashlyn said she was looking for this one so I picked up this adventure awaits one for her and then these two I'll just put them together in my room I actually really think this color fits my color scheme I wanted all of them because when she got all four of them she had them put together and they looked really cute like the four of them together all the different colors the contrast it was really pretty so I actually wanted all of them and I just like the sayings but unfortunately I only got those two but those will have to do lip gloss for days you guys and I've never even seen these so I picked them all up uh, my neighbor's birthday is in August she's only going to be 14 so she's still into these cutesy little girl things so I'll probably load her up with these but you guys have never seen them first of all there's two they're scented and they're two in like this little zip pouch so you can hold them and there's two in each kind and this one is green apple and lemon drop and then this one is summer fruits and warm vanilla so these are the only two like flavors that I found of those two. So I got those and then these ones you guys you clip onto your backpack and or anything a backpack a purse and look you could have your lip gloss like on a retractable cord and they all have different flavors. So this one's bubble gum and it's just like a uh, pink and white little um, clip right there and then this one is the peace sign I think Zoe's gonna love this one and lollipop is the flavor and there's that one and then this one has the black and red hearts and this one is cupcake is the lip gloss so so super cute I thought those were like honestly every little girl is gonna want that on her backpack only two food items what Kira you're kidding me right I know but only two food items I really didn't see anything that was jumping out at me I am leaving so I didn't want anything I really couldn't use um, but this is the ultimate cookie mix I've been looking for this one I just love cookie mixes for rainy days and I know sometimes I would prefer like a more healthier option or at least like an organic non-gmo kind of cookie mix or whatever but you can't always be all about that. You can't beat something like this for a dollar. And for the buck, the kind of joy my kids get out of the memories that we make of just making cookies and stuff, like I don't even care about all the other things. So this is the double chocolate chunk by the Betty Crocker. So I picked that up for a rainy day. And then this I think is just a great deal for on the go. I think Jake might even like him for a lunch. Uh, I know he's kind of old for minions, but whatevs, who cares? I would rock a minion, I don't care. Um, and these say Graham Snacks in the honey flavor. And there's six pack of the little Despicable Me guys in there. So I just thought that was cute. Um, just one little package of socks. I'm about to send a package to Texas to my girlfriend Marissa who is having a baby. She said she needed socks so I thought these were super cute. Just little um, like polka dots and then this one's a little cupcake so I thought that was cute. 
I've been looking for these signs forever and they had a bunch of them there and they actually had the coffee one um, which I think Ashlyn already picked up for me but I wanted to save them in my gift closet for a gift but when I got online I noticed that it was all scuffed and it was the last one of that one so I put it back. There were tons of these. This one says sip happens it's okay to whine and it has a little kickstand here these have been floating around for super super long but my store has never had them so i picked them up i picked this one up and i may go back and get a few more i think these are super cute like little basket fillers um but i really wanted the coffee one it was so cute I mentioned it was Jake's birthday, so just picked up a few random things for him. Um, he's totally into emojis, and again, school is starting, so I picked him up this uh, like pencil pouch, and it just says, be weird, be different, and be you, and that is Jake. He's a little awkward and different, but he's him, and he's super special just the way that he is, so I feel like this represents him completely, so I got that for him, and then he asked me for a stylus for his 3DS. Those little plastic pens, you guys, are so expensive. So I want him to try the stylus. If this doesn't work, I'll have to, like, sink for the stinking 3DS pens he needs. But this is just a gel pen that is also a stylus. So I thought I would throw that in his birthday bag. And if he can use it, he can use it. If not, whatever. Um, and then some of the medicine Jake takes gives him a headache. He really could live off of Advil, the poor kid. Um, and... He always asks me at the end of the night when he's not feeling well and he has a headache to put a cold rag on his head. Like he could totally get cold water on the washcloth himself, but mom's rag is better than everybody else's. I don't know. I'll put some kind of special love in it or something, but he always wants me to give him a cold towel, but I thought this was cute. Of course, it's an emoji and it's just a cold pack. So I thought maybe he can keep this in the little refrigerator I have upstairs here in my room. And if he has a headache at bed, he could just pull this out and put a cold pack on his head. I don't know. Mama can't always be there to make a washcloth. The bath bombs are back, you guys. The bath bombs. But these ones are different. And they're so awesome. And I never even got the ones from the first time. And I just think these are such great teacher filler gifts and all of that. And so, and this one's a unicorn. So if I don't give that out, I'll keep that one for myself. The only thing I don't like is that they used to say the scents on here. And these ones totally don't. They just say, treat me. And it's a shape. It says a bath bomb. And then it says... Hashtag spa goals. That's it. So I don't know what scents they are. Maybe they're not a scent, but this one's a heart and it's like pink and yellow. I'm sorry if there's a glare because these are reflective, so it's like weird. Um, oh my goodness, I love this one. Look at the ice cream cone, you guys. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. And then this one is just a green butterfly. And then this one is just like a purple, like swirly kind of. Oh no, that's a cupcake. Just kidding. It's a cupcake. Haha, <laughs> I thought it was a swirly ball. Oh, it's a cupcake. And it's purple. This one's so cute. Perfect, perfect gift filler. A buck, you guys. All right, let's get into some toys real quick. I feel like Pookie, she totally, Lisa from Pookie's View, totally gets me into wanting toys. She's always hauling toys. And I have little kids. And so... I saw her haul these and I was like, okay, I'm all about that. And this was like the item of the week in every store that I went to. And it's Crayola Sidewalk Chalk. But look at these Mamma Jammas. There's only two, but they're just double-sided. So it's got the pink and the blue and the green and the orange. So I thought these would be really cool for my little kids like have jumbo chalk. And then these are double-sided, but there's six double-sided ones in here, but they're just smaller. So I got those for them. But here is probably, you guys, it's probably my favorite find. And this, this is why all of us who do any kind of Dollar Tree hauls let you guys know if you're constantly shopping in the Dollar Tree or you see one of us haul something that you want, keep it on your wish list and don't cross it off, even for a year later. You guys, I just got a book bin from a year later. So the things will eventually come around. It's crazy that you may have to wait that long, but they do happen. But... Pookie holds like every kind of matchbox car I've ever seen in life on her channel and I've never found a one. Never. I've been just went to 12 Dollar Trees, you guys. Never saw one. I saw Hot Wheels, but I never saw any of the ones she was hauling. And then today I found them. I was so excited. 
I was so excited, but what was more exciting is there was only 10 of them hanging. There's, it's a series of six, and out of the 10 hanging, I got all six. Unheard of. When do you ever go to a place and like find the whole collection? Like, never. So, let me get them all together because they're so cute. All right, guys, here they are, the Fast and the Furious cars, and like, I'm just, you guys, I'm so stoked. So we have number one, you guys can see there that it's one out of six, one. And then here is the two out of six. And then here is the three out of six. Like they're just so cute. Mason loves Matchbox cars and we love Fast and the Furious in this house. So it's just that this fits us. And like I've been looking for them forever. So here is the four out of six. And then this is the five out of six. And then this is the six out of six. And I'm so excited about them. And I'm going to save them. Like, he's not getting them right now. They're going to go in a stocking. Or I'll make him, like, a big, like, you know, maybe I'll get, like, a carrier or something and load all these in there. But this is going to be a gift for Christmas. I'm not just, like, buying these things for nothing. But I'm so excited about them because that is a great deal for a dollar, you guys. And I've been looking for them for months on end you guys know me and my play packs i absolutely love them and this one was just pj masks one we didn't have i have like 10 in my purse right now i'm probably gonna pull some out and throw them back in my gift closet and like use them for stocking stuffers and things like that because we seriously don't need 10 in my purse but that's how many i have and then I found these little Shopkin blind bags, something else Lisa hauled. I could swear she was not telling the truth because I was like, no, I've never seen anybody else haul them. I can't find them, but nope, here they are. She had ones in shopping carts, I believe, which these are not the same. These are like little backpacks, but I got one in the green and then one in the purple. My kids love any kind of blind bag, but I'm saving this for Maya. This is going in her stocking. Like I'm getting a jump on Christmas, you guys. My last little bunch of things, you guys, and then I am all done. So only one sticker wall art this time, but this is not for me. Do you see it, Vanessa? What did I find for you? That's right. She said last time uh, in her haul, she just did like a week ago, that she was completely convinced she would never see this again. And this was the only one in my store. I'm not going to lie. I spent 10 minutes thumbing through the wall. There's a wall of wall stickers in this big Dollar Tree that I have. And I went through every one and this was like on the back of a rack. I was like throwing the ones over my shoulder and I got it. So girl, I'm bringing you this in October. I ain't gonna mail it, it's gonna get all messed up. I'm sticking it in my suitcase. All right, and then I found these magnetic frames. I've never seen anybody haul them. I don't watch a whole lot of people. I kind of watch my solid people. So if they haven't hauled it, I claim I haven't seen it. So maybe these have been out for a while, but they're magnetic photo frames. I'm kind of thinking they're just out because a lot of the magnetic stuff is coming out because of locker season. So this one looks like the wood grain and it just has like the closed pin up top for you to pin a picture. And it is got the magnet on the back. And this one says family, which I thought was super cute. And then this one I'm going to send to Nicole. It just says my tribe with the little arrows on it. So I thought that was super cute for her. She can use it in her classroom. And then this this one goes this way sideways and there's no words on it. It's just that blue farmhouse like wood green. So I love that one. I'm going to keep this one for my room because I have a magnet going uh, board going up in my command center. So I'm going to use that for that. And then this one says loved on the bottom. And again, it's the wood green with the clothespin and the magnet on the back so absolutely so cute my stainless steel refrigerator kills me because it would be covered with stuff if i actually could stick to it uh, but i'll have to find other places because there's plenty of magnetic surfaces and i almost want to keep them all because they are so cute tote bags are my last item of the day and i was so super excited to find these i love new tote bags i really don't need any more um but i just love them and this one says let's be mermaids it's not for me of course it's for my cousin ashlyn if you guys watch me you start to develop a theme like of who i'm buying what for when you start to see things come up on the screen so ashlyn is my mermaid lover and i've kind of got i'm trying to convince my cousin to get a channel because i've created her 
into this like Dollar Tree hopper and now she watches a whole bunch of people on YouTube and she loves going and she keeps seeing things and loving things and saying like, oh, I want that. So I'm always on the hunt for her for stuff, but this is just, in New York, you need reusable shopping bags. So this girl is gonna be all about this life. This one I bought, I don't know who I bought it for, but I know that all of my girls are kind of loving elephants these days. And I know one of them had it. Either Madison hauled it, or Nicole hauled it for Madison, or Vanessa hauled it for Nicole. I lose track because we're all in the stores and we're snapping things and we're doing videos and I lose track. Somebody wanted this. So whichever one of my girls comment first and say they want it, it's theirs. I did buy two of these because, of course, I'm going to give one to Leanne. Uh, she lives in New York, but New York in the whole doesn't have that reusable bag law. It's only Suffolk County, like where my family lives. But you still, who doesn't use reusable shopping bags? And this, you guys, is gorgeous. So I thought I could use this bag as a holder for all the stuff that I have for Leanne. Plus I've been stockpiling her her favorite detergent and all that. So I thought I could use this as a vessel for her bag, but I had to pick up an extra one for myself because I absolutely love it. It's just beautiful like you guys. They're killing it with the succulents and the cactuses like I can't. All right, you guys, so that's it. I tried to keep it as short and sweet as possible and not super long, but you know, it's me. It doesn't really happen that way, but I found a lot of great things. Again, so many new items, things I hadn't even seen hauled, so I was excited about sharing it with you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And again, don't forget, please go over and show Zachary Michael some love. I truly love him and I love his love for all of us. He just, he's a very dedicated friend and subscriber and I'm so happy to know him. He's really just, you guys, he does not have a little channel. Like he just, everybody is loving his funny videos. He is just, the, the subscriber count is just stacking up for him and I'm so proud of him and I'm so happy for him and I hope he's enjoying this journey just like we are. So thank you guys again, again, and again for watching. I love you guys all so, so much and stay tuned tomorrow. We have three back-to-back -back food videos. What? Yes, it is a food weekend on 50 Shades and you guys are going to love every minute of it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.